Hi, it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home, and I'm so happy you're here today to join me to make a super special treat for St. Patrick's Day. This recipe is a very special family tradition. We love to make this on holidays, especially when there's something we can add that's very colorful. So this year, I'm making this special treat that my kids always love to make and love to eat. My daughter brought this recipe home from school and she always liked to make it when her friends were coming over. I would always have all the ingredients on hand so that they could put this together at a moment's notice. This recipe is called Puppy Chow. When she first started talking about making puppy chow, I couldn't understand what she even meant because we didn't even have a dog. And so when she wanted to make puppy chow, I asked her, who are you making this for? Whose dog is this gonna be for? And can dogs even eat powdered sugar? Well, to my surprise, that was just the cute name. I'm not sure where the name came from. In fact, some people call this recipe Muddy Buddies. I'm not sure if they do seem a little muddy with all the chocolate and all the peanut butter. But let me show you how easy and how fun this recipe is to put together. And I'm sure you'd like to give this a try. And the best part is you can add any kind of candy for any kind of holiday or you can just leave it plain. It's just as good and just as tasty without any extra candies. Here we go. Let's put it together. Let me show you everything we need to make this super easy, super fun recipe. We're going to need one cup of chocolate chips. I just like to use some semi-sweet chocolate chips, a half a cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, nine cups of Czech cereal, and you can mix the Czech cereals. They don't all have to be the same, and two cups of powdered sugar. I'm going to be adding M&Ms to my puppy chow because I have some green M&Ms. I always buy M&Ms at Christmas time and I buy extra of the red and green Christmas M&Ms. Then I divide them up and I take the red ones out and use for Valentine recipes. And I save the green ones to use for my St. Patrick's recipes. But you could add any candies that you like. I'm going to add the one cup of chocolate chips to the bowl. And then I'm going to add the half a cup of peanut butter. I'm going to add the teaspoon of vanilla and the quarter cup of butter. Now that I have all of the microwave ingredients ready, I'll set those aside for just a minute. Then I have two bags, zip top bags, and I'm going to take the powdered sugar and put one cup of powdered sugar in each bag because this is what we're going to pour our mixture into when we're all done and tumble it all around so that the entire mixture gets completely coated with powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, whatever you like to call it. And then, so we have both of those. We want to make sure they're ready because once the cereal is coated in the chocolate, at the next stage of the recipe, we're going to want to put it into the bags right away before it starts cooling down. Now I have my chick cereal. And this is a corn chex. I like the corn chex so much. You can use rice chex, wheat chex, any kind of cereal. And I'm gonna need nine cups of this cereal. I'll put it in a great big bowl so that after I heat the microwave items, I can pour it over the cereal and start tumbling it. So I'll measure out nine cups and then we'll get our ingredients in the microwave and get them heating. Now I'm gonna take the microwave ingredients and start putting them in the microwave at 30 second intervals. After 30 seconds, I'm gonna take this out and you can see everything is melting nicely. So I'm gonna take it out and just stir it. We don't wanna put it in and do it all at once because it could easily burn. So we'll just do it one time for 30 seconds and then we'll take it out, mix it up, put it back in for another 30 seconds and see how it's going. We'll mix it after the second 30 seconds for a total of 60 seconds and it may be ready. If not, we'll put it back in just a little bit longer and heat it just a little bit more. 
as you can see, it didn't look like it was melted very much, but once you start stirring it, it's hot inside, and everything starts melting together and coming together very nicely. So we'll put this back in one more time and heat it back up. Okay, back into the microwave for 30 more seconds. Okay, the second 30 seconds has gone. Let's mix this up. And this is nice and smooth. It's very shiny. We want it to be really shiny and really glossy. This is definitely ready. So we'll be done with the microwave and move on to pouring this over the cereal. And then we'll fold it in. Okay, now I'm gonna pour this nice glossy buttery peanut butter mixture right over the top of the nine cups of rice cereal, or wheat cereal, or Czech cereal of any flavor that you like. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna start carefully just folding it in. We don't wanna be very harsh with this because we wanna make sure that we don't break up the cereal. Okay, now that I have all of the chocolate coating on all of the cereal. Just do the best you can to get it coated as well as you can because the powdered sugar is gonna stick to all of this. And now that I have that all coated on there, I'm gonna take a great big scoop here and I'm gonna divide this into two different bags of powdered sugar. If you have a really great big bag, you can put everything in together, but I'm gonna just start putting it into two separate bags. And I have one cup of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar in each bag. So just divide it up as equally as you can. And then we're going to seal the bags. And you wanna work rather quickly because you don't want the chocolate to set up too fast to where it's not gonna stick on the powdered sugar. I just have a great big scoop and I'm gonna work really quick get this in both of the bags. Sorry if this is a little noisy, but I want to move along really swiftly here. All right, let's see how this goes. And I have to warn you ahead of time, you may end up with a little bit of chocolate on your hands. So don't be surprised about that. This can get a little bit messy, but it's well worth it. Okay, here's how it looks. The powdered sugar in with the cereal. And we'll just start turning that over and tossing it. And you want to be very delicate, don't forget, because we don't want the cereal to be all broken up. So I just like to take the ends of the bag and just lightly tumble it. And that way, if for some reason you have a bag that ends up coming open, at least it'll be over the countertop. I've never had that happen, so I don't think that should be a problem. Okay, and on with the second bag. This is really fun for kids. I think this is why my kids love making this so much. It was always fun for them and their friends. I always had these supplies on hand so they could make this anytime they wanted. Okay, let's add the extra special little touch that we have. Some to each bag. I'm gonna pour in the green. St. Patrick's Day M&M's to each bag. That should be good. And then we'll just tumble these around too. And you can use any candies. You can put chocolates in here, Rolos. You can put any kind of M&M's that you like or just any other kind of candies. All right, and that should do it. Let's put these out in a bowl and see what they look like. This puppy chow makes such a wonderful gift. It's always great to share with friends. I'm sure my daughter Sarah will be super proud that I put this recipe together. She made this for so many years and she's still making it to this day. But it's super fun and it's always very special to us. It reminds us of all the fun times when she had friends over to make this and we had powdered sugar everywhere in the kitchen when 
She would have slumber parties and sleepovers, but that's okay. It was no problem, and I loved having all the girls at the house. I'm not so sure my son Mitchell enjoyed having so many girls in the house, but we always had the best time ever, and it was... I miss those days so much, but all the girls can watch this recipe now and have fond memories and make this for their families. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the like button and don't forget to hit the bell so you'll get notifications every time we have a new video coming out. I'll see you next time. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm.